Prophecy 67, given to Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya, 1219, 02, 8 o'clock p.m. Ah, Yahweh will declare war from heaven with giant meteors of mass destruction. Ah, Yahweh will release these meteors and showers like you have never seen, as stated in the book of Revelations. No weapon of warfare will be able to stop it. Ah, Yahweh declare war on earth for its sinfulness. Vast meteor destructions will come. Only holy prayers will delay it. Judgment cannot be stopped, but it can be delayed. As you fire your missiles from earth, I shall fire my missiles from heaven. Who can fight against Yahweh and win? Even the heathen you rage against in other nations submit to the laws and statutes of the God they serve. America, who is your God you serve and trust? America, what will it take for you to repent for the treason and adultery you have committed against Yahweh, who set your nation apart and blessed it because you were a friend to Israel and defended her? America, the day you lift a hand against Israel is the day I lift my hand of blessings and protections off of America. You call other nations warmongers, but what are you, America? Do you not think I hear the screams of the innocent ones that have been maimed and killed in wars that were not of the people's makings? I not only admonish and rebuke America, but all nations who have taken part in wars, not in my will. I ask this world, do you think I do not hear the screams of babies that are tortured in the mother's womb because that mother and her selfishness thinks only of her own life and not of the unborn? Do you think I value one life over another? Your laws no longer protect the innocent, but protect the guilty. Your man-made laws Seek to take away your God-given freedoms. I gave America for what you call home security. There is no security when people will be treated as criminals, arrested without evidence, judged guilty and executed without even a trial or a jury of their peers. Parts of this world already are doing this in America. You shake your head and fingers and now you are writing laws to do the same. What is the price of your privacy? What is the price of freedom to worship? Ask Israel that question, for she pays a great price, and so have the Christians around the world. When will this world start caring about what is done in secret by others in politics? Now enemies of Yahweh are the ones that speak out to defend America's freedoms, the ACLU. And because they are also enemies of the gospel, you ignore them when they try and get you to care about your freedom and privacy being taken from you. Remember when I warned when freedom of speech is taken from one, it is taken from all. I spoke this in another prophecy given to this handmaiden. I, Yahweh, tell you, no longer shall you know each other by name, but by the anointing of the Rukarash, my Holy Spirit. I'm commanding you to join together with those you called strangers, and now I join you together to support one another. For you shall recognize each other, not by earthly names, but by my anointing. You shall travel with my anointed ones, and one needs shall be all needs. And you shall share what you have with one another, as I, Yahweh, bless you. Meteor destruction is coming forth, just as I, Yahweh, told my daughter Elizabeth's son, who is called Prophet Boy Elijah. He wouldn't give the warning, so I'm speaking it forth for my daughter again. Warn the people that only mighty prayer intercessors will delay judgment to America and this world. War from heaven, giant meteors will be released, and no weapon of warfare will be able to stop it. Only prayer warriors will delay my judgment as they cry out for mercy on this land that deserves no mercy. I prophesied that storms and earthquakes would come, and they did. What do I have to do before people will realize I am warning the apostles and prophets to tell the people to repent before I send judgment? My troops anointed by heaven will not be concerned with one another's name, for they will recognize the Holy Spirit within my children. They will not recognize a name, nor even know their past, but they will recognize one another by the anointing of my Holy Spirit. You shall gather together in my name and walk in holiness and truth to my statues and walk side by side, traveling together for one purpose, and that is to warn people my judgment is soon to fall. The year 2003, my anointed hidden ones will come out of hiding and join together with my daughter speaking this, and together they shall pray for delay of my judgment. And if enough people repent, I shall stay in my hand of judgment another time. 
You nations that develop weapons, fine-tuning them so you can shoot down one another's missiles, ask yourself this. How can you defend yourself against a war from heaven as I threw upon earth, including America, meteors that will crush your homes, businesses, capitals? And I tell you, enough of your foolishness. I, Yahweh, will show you a war of unmagnitude proportions. If you don't repent, turn away from your wicked ways, live holy and be holy and call upon my name in the name of my son, Yahshua. You can pass all the ungodly laws you want, but I, Yahweh, am the only lawgiver, and there are stiff consequences for those who call themselves lawmakers and are really lawbreakers. I, Yahweh, am not amused, neither shall you be when I, Yahweh, and my son, Yahshua, are through with you. For those that dare to mock the messages, I, Yahweh, send forth such as this one, put your hands up and defend yourself against the everlasting creator, the one called the Ancient of Days. For I have no beginning and no end. I am the Aleph and the Tav. You who call yourself Christians and yet follow not the ways of my son Yahshua in observing even the holy times. You who call yourself Christian who boast and say, I'm not a Jew. And yet I said, you are grafted in when you follow Yahshua and accept him as Messiah, loving and putting Yahweh and Yahshua first in your lives, striving to obey my laws, knowing you will have an intercessor, a savior in my son Yahshua, when you do sin, but not purposely grieving the Holy Spirit and sinning and endangering your very soul. How few of you remember that you must all work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The majority of you who call yourself Christians for the most part are anti-Semitic. You shun the Hebrew ways, the Torah, the Tanakh, and only want to claim the New Testament. You only want to gather together on a man-made Sabbath, not on a true Shabbat. How many Christians only want to celebrate man-made pagan holidays and shun the true Hebrew holy days? How many of you only want to use what you call church to pacify me or as a fashion show or a gossip fest you Christians don't realize that Pentecost is not found in most of your churches because you have grieved my Holy Spirit and chased the Rakadash out you read of the 12 disciples and quote the Jewish scriptures and claim the Bible as your promises Yet you cut yourself off from all that is Hebrew and brag you are not a Jew. You dare to boast how I, Yahweh, cut off the natural vine to graft you Gentiles in, so the natural vine would become jealous. And yet then you reject the natural vine and reject the things I, Yahweh, taught them. You who call yourself Christian allow Rome to supposedly change the only day I set apart, blessed and sanctified. And you say any day will do to call Sabbath. I didn't choose any day. I rested on the seventh day. Why do you not study and show yourself approved? You know the truth and yet still have not held your pastors accountable for changing the fellowship day back to the true Shabbat day. If you had told the pastors, you tell us the Bible is truth and yet you don't follow the truth. And I won't be following or be part of a fellowship that doesn't walk in the truth. Instead, you whisper the truth and don't follow through. No pastor has thus far contacted this daughter I am speaking this message for, from, and thanked her, nor encouraged her for rebuking them in Yahshua's name. My children who have taken the prophetic messages of rebuke to the pastors are rejected or patted on the head and told thanks. But we will continue on the same way. And my children disobey and still sit in these churches that refuse to speak forth the truth and do things Yahweh's way and not man or woman's way. Why are not the churches speaking forth holiness and repentance? Why are they not warning narrow is a path to heaven and broad is a path to hell? Ask yourself, does a prosperity message bring souls to heaven? Ask yourself. While the top ministries of this world refuse to speak forth any message that could offend others, I, Yahweh, am true, and I am truth. And when my son Yahshua speaks forth truth to the Pharisees, it offended. When my disciples speak forth truth, it offends the Pharisees, those with a form of godliness and no godliness within. Ask yourself, 
why the pastors are not encouraging the people to pray against ungodly laws becoming a reality. Ask yourself why so many pastors are leading the sheep into the wolf's den. Christians, you will once again be handed over to the Roman Empire. You who call yourself Christians, I shall judge you, for you have followed Constantine's laws and not Yahweh and Yahshua. Christians, you have celebrated pagan holidays, not Yahweh's holy days. Christians, I shall judge you for saying you serve the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and sing songs of praise to Yahshua, and yet with knowledge and forethought insist on calling him a Greek name, J-E-S-U-S, Jesus. You do this no longer in ignorance. Yahshua said, In my name you shall cast out devils. That is the name of Yahshua, for my name is Yahweh. Yah is included in that name. Is Yahweh's name in the spelling of J-E-S-U-S? What is my name? I am known by many names. But what does your scripture say? Stop just studying the Greek. Start studying the Hebrew and the Aramaic translations. The name. Our help is in the name of Yahweh, maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 124.8 You who call yourself Christians, I, Yahweh, charge you this. You who preach God Yahweh and Yahshua is love, and yet do not show it nor live it. You serve the king of Jews, and yet you shun my Jewish people. You mock and slander and allow others to do this. You secretly follow the truth in this ministry, and yet do nothing to support it. You do nothing to defend this ministry, and you recognize the voice of your heavenly Father speaking forth, and yet stay silent as this apostolic handmaiden gets mocked and slandered, all because I use this ministry to teach the Jewishness of Yahshua, whom you call Jesus Christ. You are the only religion that maims, beats, and tries to kill, or do kill those of your own religion. You won't find this in any other religion. This is a judgment I decree and speak forth out of my apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomiah. Don't get angry with her, for she is only the messenger. Multitudes call themselves Christians and have a form of godliness, and yet are Gentile Pharisees. You who know the truth and refuse the truth, you call yourself Christians, and because you have rejected my Jewish people and the laws and the true holy days and feasts, you have been like a Judas again to Yeshua. Because you dare to think you are better than the Jewish people and boast how you were grafted in and they were cut off for a season. You boast how the Jews are so stupid not to see Yahshua, whom you call Jesus as Messiah. Instead of praying for them, loving them, realizing it is I, Yahweh, that blinded their eyes for a season. You are under the curse to dare boast how I cut off the natural vine and grafted you into it by the blood of Yahshua. What does my word say when you boast and mock the natural vine, the unbelieving Jewish people who have not had the revelation yet that Yeshua is the Messiah, in Greek called Jesus? Does my word not say if I did not spare the natural vine, why do you think I will spare you who boast they are better than the natural vine? You who insist on following Constantine, listen to me. The first attempt fatally successful was made by Ha-Satan in the form of the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Genesis 3, 1-22. Satan tricked Eve, and Eve caused Adam to sin into thinking that nothing is to be gained by observing Yahweh's laws, also called the Torah, which includes the Ten Commandments. Another example is the case of Cain, who was told that obedience to Yahweh's instructions bring salvation and blessings, but decided he knew better, and as a result, was cursed as he murdered his brother Abel. And then we have Korah, who tried to undermine Moses' authority and met with a terrible end, as the earth opened up and swallowed Korah and his followers alive into the pit of hell, and then the earth closed over them. Number 16, 1 to 35. Moses warns us about a false prophet who would try to teach the people commandments, not a Yahweh, and even encourage others to disrespect Moses and his anointing. Deuteronomy 18, 20-22. Woe be unto you for all those that do not have spiritual ears to hear and spiritual eyes to see that the Christian churches as well as the temples are full of cardos today and will suffer the same fate. Numbers 16, 1-35. Just in the times of Moses, so too I prophesy again through my daughter Elizabeth, a warning to you who call yourself Christian, but have no Christ in you. Mock, slander, and ignore now, and you shall reap 
what you have sold. Woe be unto those who have refused or stopped supporting this ministry. For you say you are not Jewish nor want to support a Messianic Jewish ministry. Oh, but I will rise up others to take your place. It will be them that receive the blessings and rewards that would have had your name on it. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. Thou instead curses a Yahweh, as it is written in Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 68, will be your lot. Go ahead and mock you churches, false prophets, and those with the evil spirit like a Korah, and those followers of Korah. Numbers 16, 1 to 35. You won't be mocking when this comes to pass. All you spiritual leaders that lead my children to not follow my laws that I gave Moses will see the empires they call houses of God come tumbling down to the ground and hell shall swallow you along with those with the spirits like a Korah again. All those who call themselves Christians but do the same as the spiritual leaders. You also have the spirit like unto a Korah, and will suffer the same fate if you refuse to heed the same warning I am giving you through this handmaiden daughter of mine. Mock not the words of mercy and grace, for those words come at a high price, at the cost of my son Yahshua's life and blood that I, Yahweh, had him sacrifice on Calvary, so you would have an intercessor before I, Yahweh, the God of all creation. Daniel spoke of a beast who would wear out Yahweh's saints and would change the times and laws of Yahweh. Daniel 7 to 25. Paul did not cancel the Sabbath. How could he? Is he the one that created the Sabbath? No, I am created the Shabbat for your rest. Resting in me so I may restore you. Paul's words were mistranslated, for never would he teach you to disobey the Torah. His words have been twisted to conform the man's image, not I, Yahweh. Paul was speaking to the Jewish people and saying, Let no one judge you for keeping certain days holy or observing the holy days. Never did he say he did not keep the Sabbath and encourage others to do the same. Paul kept my Jewish laws. Paul taught there is grace and mercy through Yahshua, but he also taught obedience to Yahweh. Do you not yet see the book of Daniel being decoded before your eyes? What was once a mystery and closed to you is now open. If you will but seek me for wisdom, and now new revelations are coming forth from my anointed ones, such as a vessel I am prophesying forth from. Listen and join together and warn together, for you need one another in a new way in the coming year of 2003. This is why I have given this dream to my handmaiden, to warn you to start assembling together. The enemies do not attack alone. A wolf travels in packs, and so must Yahweh's sheep and lambs. Christians, you must stop shunning the Jews, holy days, feasts, and what you call the Old Testament. I am both the old and the new book. Stop trying to divide what never was meant to be divided, for a house divided cannot stand. Christians, reach out to the Jewish people and embrace Israel in love, for they are blinded now for a season. But Israel shall be saved as my son Yahshua opened the eyes of the blind in Israel once again. I, Yahweh, decree the blind eyes and deaf ears in Israel shall once again behold my son Yahshua Hamashiach. Read and show thyself approved. All those that are recognizing the words of your heavenly Father, Yahweh, study the below words in the Torah I have instructed my daughter to put you in remembrance of. Deuteronomy 30:17. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish. Ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whither thou passest over Jordan to go and possess it. Deuteronomy 30:19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. The numbers in green are strong as concordance in Greek and Hebrew. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall, future tense, teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 5, 17 to 18. Please read the below if you call yourself a Christian and say you believe in Jesus Christ. You will be surprised at your answers. There is a difference in believing and following and obeying. Do Christians believe Yahshua in Greek called Jesus when he says, If thou wilt enter, keep the commandments. 
Matthew 19, 17. Do Christians keep the commandments? There can be no doubt that Yahshua in Greek, called Jesus, was referring to the Law of Moses, since there were no other commandments. Yahshua, Jesus, did not say that one can enter into the kingdom of heaven only by believing in him. The Bible says even Satan believes he is the son of God, Yahweh, and it takes loving and putting Yahweh and Yahshua first in your life. Love, marriage, and ministry, if you have one. Yahshua also said, Why do you call me Lord and not obey me? One must keep the Ten Commandments. This includes a true Sabbath. This includes stopping fellowshipping in churches where the spiritual leaders have been told the truth and yet refuse to obey Yahweh's fourth commandment. 